with that, if you're born healthy, right, and that you're not born with any complications, then we're all kind of we all kind of start the same, right? Mm. And I honestly believe that you know if one person out there can go and achieve something, all, all you have to do is copy what they do to mentally and physically to go and achieve similar to what they've achieved. So mm. I just saw this guy and I'm like, well, look what he's achieved. And why can't I achieve that? And then I just started, you know, playing mind games for myself. Like, well, he's a civilian and I'm an elite Royal Marines commando. So I should be able to do this easily. <laughs> and then I started thinking back to my training about the times when it was really hard. And, you know, that the whole Royal Marines training thing for me was a massive journey of discovery on mental strength. You know, right. you get pushed so hard that you just, you, your brain's constantly screaming at you to quit when you're cold, wet, hungry, blistered, bleeding, but you, your body is only like 40% of the way to giving up. And it, that's what training taught me. And I just reapplied that to learning to walk again. I thought every time I'm in a lot of pain and I'm bleeding and I'm blistered and I'm sore and I want to stop, my body's got loads left in the tank. I've just got to take control of my mind. And because mm -hmm. I saw Cameron had achieved the things that I wanted to achieve, then I just kept telling myself that I'm like, just keep, all you've got to do is be like probably annoyingly stubborn and just be like, no, not quitting. No, I'll do uh, one more step. And, you know, I just adopted this attitude that even if it's a 1% improvement every day, that's still forward progress. You know, tomorrow you might make 5%, 10%, 15%, but on the days you're feeling low, if you can just eke out 1%, then you're winning. Just don't stay still. And you know, that, that, is what pushed me on just that sh probably annoying stubbornness. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. But there's so much in there though, because for whatever anyone is doing in life, you know, if they're facing similar situation that you were in or anything really, you're right. You know, those incremental gains, 1%, it's still progress, isn't it? It is still progress. Yeah. And I think sometimes we can set ourselves almost unrealistic goals or that's great to have a big vision, but break it down into like, you know, how do you eat an elephant? You know, well, one, one bite at a time. And, and I think that's that approach, isn't it? That obviously got you through. And, and you know, through this period, obviously you, you had that love for, you know, for the Marines and for everything that you had sort of put into your heart and soul with that, with, you know, with your career there. Was there resentment at any point where you were sort of thinking, oh, my God, you know, why did I go back as well? Because you'd had come out and you went back. You know, were you angry and resentful or, or did that never even kind of come to your mind? No, nope, never once. Do you know what I mean? That, that was one of the things that kind of drove me, actually, because Royal Marines have a specific set of values and we live to a very high standard and it's ingrained in us to live at a high standard in everything we do, whether we're in uniform or out of uniform. You know, once you earn that green beret, you're a Royal Marine for life. That's one of our mantras, once a Marine, always a Marine. Mm. And I just decided to carry that over into my rehab. And I remember actually, you know, early in my recovery before I'd left hospital, I I think the Royal Marines at the time were maybe 348 years old. We were formed in 1664. And I remember lying there, just having this moment of reflection, thinking I've never heard or read or seen anybody in that 348 years of history that let the team down, that just gave up and just thought, oh, you know what? This isn't for me. I'm going to go. And I just remember sitting in my room thinking, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be that man. You know, I'm still a Royal Marine. I still live to those standards. I've still lived to those values. I will for the rest of my life. And I'm not going to let anyone down. I'm going to carry this reputation of what it is to be a Royal Marines commando into now life as a triple amputee.